on YouTube world. <laughs> we are guaranteed life, guaranteed life to watch. Let's just start covering all this stuff. Look at this. We got a coming up right now. Just keep knocking the camera over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we have made it to the campsite, everybody. Oh my God, look at this view. I was sweating for a second over there. <laughs> I was like, oh, I think I can make it. Yeah, we made it. Well, this thing is a beast. Holy hell. What you see behind you right there is the new to us. Uh, well, it's new. It's, it's brand new. Brand new. iCamper Sky Camp 2.0 XL or is it an XL? No, 2.0 is the big one. Okay, 2.0 is the big one. <laughs> and even though it's big, it's not as big as the Smitty Belt. Smitty Belt. Smitty Belt was a little longer and slightly wider, I think. Yeah, but this is a lot more aerodynamic, a lot way better materials. And one of the old vlogs, I said, hey, if anybody knows the difference between, you know, the Smitty Built tents and like a I can't pretend, you know, let us know. Well, nobody really let us know anything. It just had a bunch of smug comments. But I can tell you, you get what you pay for when it comes to tents. The quality of materials is like completely different. It feels like a really, really nice, high end, proper material mm -hmm. used here versus the Smitty Built. Smitty Built was a great first time tent. This is a lot more expensive, so I would expect it to be better quality, but it's, uh, I, I'm very impressed so far. I expected it to be better quality, but I didn't know it could be that much better. And this is mega mm -hmm. much better from the ladder, from the way that it deploys, from the actual te the, the texture and the touch of the actual Fabric, materials, yeah. all the extra little details that they added as far as like having screens and windows and windows that you can just see through but not necessarily open yes like transparent windows i guess is the best way to put it especially just, that sky yes. view is definitely a big big plus I think. massive plus and installing it was not difficult i mean installing any tent can be a little difficult depending on how you're installing it and what you're installing it on mm -hmm. but this one was a little bit easier a little bit yeah. easier than this mini build the I mounts think. were easier Yes. So, plus we had maybe a little bit more experience at this point. Yes. Doing it. So, it's just the heavy part is definitely, yep. you have to lift it properly. And our homemade rig was more than sufficient to get it all the way up here. We are about uh, two and a half hours north of uh, where we live. Yes. And we went down some serious terrain to Proper. get to this location right here. Like, there's no way you could have made it up here in anything less than a four-wheel drive no. uh, proper vehicle with real good tires on it because it was real bad roads. But anyway, we're going to lose the sun soon, so we're going to set up camp, and then I guess we'll join you. We're going to eat dinner and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, we're going to make some fire. We got some new thing that actually we're going to test it out. We kind of test it out at home, but we got this new thing called Solo Stove. Anybody who can probably already heard of it. It's, yeah, but we're new to it. But we're new to it. So this is going to be our first time properly having a campfire and cooking on it. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, it's getting a little chilly. Sun's going down, so we need some fire going. And so we're going to go ahead and set up camp and have dinner. And I guess we'll either join y'all later on tonight or in the morning. Probably more than likely in the morning. Yes. And let y'all know how our first night went in the iCamper sky camp 2.0 i hope it's not going to rain in the morning because if it will be able to, if we will be able to see the sunrise it should be breathtaking because yes you can see all 360 the view yeah we're on the very top of yes. a very high ridge looking down on all the other mountains yeah. around us
morning. Oh, man. I totally just woke up, man. The camera was running all night just to capture me waking up in our iCamper Sky Camp Deuce. And um, it's very, very cold outside. It's 30 something degrees outside. But we slept nice and toasty up in here. It was really windy too last night. Like our um our uh, rain fly for our campsite was just flapping about like a wizard sleeve last night. And it woke me up in the middle of the night. I had to get up and go in the freezing uh, air to uh, re-secure it. But now I'm about to get up and go downstairs and join uh, my wife. I think she's making coffee or something. I don't know. She's running around doing something. She's been up since the sun came up. But I went back to sleep after I secured this wind fly because it was flapping like crazy. And I think Celia Blade's probably going to sleep in because she looks like she's tired. Oh, look who's finally woke up. Princess Sonia. Did you sleep good? You like the new tent? Yeah. They like the old tent better? No. Fire when ready. Nice! In the silver area. In the silver area. Perfect. going to wrap up today's vlog uh first of all what are we going to be talking about first we want to talk about that or this uh either one i guess let's start maybe with that okay we spent our first successful night in the eye camper sky camp 2.0 and we're going to share our thoughts our initial thoughts yes since this is our first go at it and what we think about it all right so first of all this is not only our first time camping in the eye camper it's also our first time camping when it was 38 39 degrees in the middle of the night as well mm -hmm. we're noobs yeah so this is the cl coldest it's ever been so far since we've been camping and for the first time in eye camper it was great the fabric is a lot more rigid and thicker so it does block the wind more i feel like we had slightly less room than Smitty built, but I think it was actually good because for three of us, we warmed it up with our breathing and stuff over the night. And uh, it was pretty cozy in there. We didn't have any heaters. We only used our um, sleeping bags, which were rated for 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And it worked out great, I think. Mm -hmm. The Sky Camper windows, I absolutely love because in the smitty built if you open the window you can only have a net you don't have an actual plastic piece that clear plastic that lets you have a window but at the same time will block the wind in the right. air and in the cold weather that was perfect and then the sky view piece which is the window on the top was amazing because when me and sonia got in we we're actually looking right up at the moon and it was so awesome mm -hmm. It was just great. And then in the morning, like you could see the sun's going up, the daylight's coming. I thought it was great. Um, the mattress, what do you think of the, the mattress? So the mattress is pretty firm. If you're not used to that type of thing, I thought that it was actually firmer than the one in the Smitty built uh, Overlander mm -hmm. that we had previous to this one right here. Um, so, but it was still very comfortable. Like I like this mattress a lot and I like the firmness of the mattress. Um, what else was I going to say about it? I think that initially we thought they were going to be relatively close in size, but the, the Smitty built by volume is a lot bigger. I feel like than this tent right here, because of the way that the Smitty built opens like an accordion, yes. you have way more roof space and stuff like that. Well, ceiling height. And when I was sitting there getting dressed this morning, I kind of felt like, oh, wow, this is a little tight compared to the Smitty yes. Bill, where it feels like you just have all this room. Yeah, Smitty Bill definitely feels <laughs> super roomy compared to that. Yeah, so I think that if you have like, you know, a five person or a four person family, you might want to go Smitty Bill over the eye camper. But if you're three people like us, I think the eye camper is definitely sufficient. I think this would be good for two adults and two kids. 
Yes. If you put two kids in the middle, because Sonia slept in the middle, and we did have room for one more person, and if you would do, let's say, two double bags that you don't have, like, each bag separately, mm -hmm. I thought it would be great. But if you definitely have, like, four adults, this is going to be a little tight. Yeah. And installing it also was a little bit easier because of the uh, the way that the bracket mechanism works on this. It's two separate brackets that come together and then you screw them together. It went on perfectly on our uh, homemade uh, roof rack that I built the other day in the vlog previous to this. And yeah, a lot of people were saying, oh, this roof rack, you know, that you know, this DIY roof rack might not be strong enough, but this thing is plenty, plenty, no, plenty it's strong. it's plenty of strong. It's very rigid. I walked all on it, all four of us, or three of us up there last night with all of our stuff, no problem, driving up here, no problem. Very, very happy with it. Um, and we went through some really rocky roads. Yeah, really So like roads. we've been shaking our car properly. It was not just like, mm -hmm. you know, a nice road. So I guess overall, my conclusion is, I still really like the Smitty build a lot. You know, I feel like it's kind of like apples and oranges, pick your poison kind of deal. Like this thing excels in number one, aesthetic. It looks amazing. Number two, the quality of the finishing and the quality of the materials is amazing versus on the Smitty build, you have all those loose strings and all that Velcro to deal with. Um, and then like the third thing is ease of deployment. This thing is super, super easy and super quick to uh, set up and break down. But I feel like the Smitty built wins in terms of volume. Size-wise. I mean, yes, yeah. size. That thing is huge. And you can really tell the difference how big that Smitty built Overlander XL is. Um, price point. This thing is almost four times the cost mm -hmm. of the Smitty built, yes. which is like, <laughs> God, I just like, oh my God, I can't even wrap my head around that. And I guess number three, the Smitty built wins in... Um, I like the fact that the Smitty Bill has windows all the way around it. Like I was saying the other day, this one, you can't see out the back side of it. You can see up, but you can't see all the way around. So, see, it's I, your poison. Yeah, I like both of them, honestly. I still actually enjoyed iCam for more. I would rather pick the window up so I can see the stars and the moon versus the window at the back. Mm. Um, I definitely feel like this quality of material blocked the wind more. Uh, definitely smaller, but the fact that I can pop that thing up and close it all by myself makes me feel a lot better because when you're in the woods, you never know what's going to happen. And me being a woman, I don't have as much of a strength, you know, put up the Smitty Built to get or put it back together. The Smitty Built, it's going to take me a lot longer, especially throwing that cover off mm. on it, you know, like the very top one Where, versus this one. I can just put this thing back in probably tops all by myself in five minutes with no practice and leave mm -hmm. so it's all right so you obviously like the eye camper better than the smitty build so far i want to try i like i you know we've been rain on every time but this time mm -hmm. so i want to i guess uh give my final thoughts after we get properly rained on mm -hmm. from what people i've heard that people being rained on and strong winds they still think mm -hmm. it's really really good well, my initial thoughts are I like both of them. I feel like they serve very different purposes and very, very different price points. But mm -hmm. I feel like you can't go wrong with the Smitty Bill or with the Eye Camper. They're both really good, but it just depends on what you are trying to accomplish. So let's move on to the Solo Stove. And the Solo Stove, I think that there's just consensus. There's nothing to debate about it. The Solo Stove is awesome. Like, I remember when I saw this thing and I was like, man, smoke this fire pit. I got so tired of coming home and everything just being drenched by smoke. smoke so i was like i looked at this thing and i was like hey have you have you looked at this thing and she was like yeah okay and we looked at the price and we were just like oh god do we want to drop that much money yeah, on it because when i he told me and i've seen them before before when we very first time going camping but when i looked at the price and i was like eh, i don't know if i want to drop that much money is it really that good you know mm -hmm. what i mean plus it's a big piece to carry around when you try mm -hmm. to go light and eventually, the more I looked, the more I read, I was like, okay, let's try it. Because this thing on sale, I paid $215 with tax. After dropping over $200 on this, and then this stand was another, I think, 50 bucks that I bought it for, which lets you put it anywhere you want, even on a surface that is um, heat sensitive. So we can put this on our rooftop if we want to. The roof I, of our house, not the, the Yeah, the roof of our house, obviously, <laughs> I mean. It's versatile, so we can take it camping. We can, you know, use it at home as a fire pit, and you can uh, cook on it. And it cooks on it cooks really good. Like we have a uh, 
We have a God. What's this thing called? We have a jet boil. We have a Coleman. We have all these other things. But really, this thing pretty much did all of that well. And you don't have to buy fuel because fuel is laying everywhere around you, and it boils water really good. It contains the heat more inside, so it produces more heat up versus you cook it on the fire because fire disperses exactly. it everywhere. Exactly. So it does boil water faster and cooks like that. we cooked our uh, turkey yesterday, ground turkey on it, and it was super fast. So it lights like, up quick very very happy with this yes yeah so the this is all one thing except for this little grill right here it's a 15 dollars home depot grill but it works seamlessly yes. and perfect it's 23 inches diameter works great on the 15 inch solo stove it's called ranger size yes the size. ranger size and man solo stove is definitely what's up like don't let that price scare you because it definitely scared me i was like god oh, yeah. and i was like is this thing really smokeless but yeah, I mean, I don't smell like smoke. It is so definitely makes a difference. And also, another thing about it, what I really like, you let use less firewood because it takes longer to burn it because it preserves the heat and stuff. And it burns thoroughly. It burns thoroughly, yeah. So you have very nice, long fire versus you would burn, you know, mm -hmm. five logs just in the regular campfire. Oh, yeah. So uh, definitely worth the money. I'm very glad I bought it, and it's a nice addition. So yeah. so we're going to go ahead and wrap up camp. And, of course, obviously, we have this beautiful setup, the GX with the iCamper. That, that right there, to me, that's freedom. This truck, let me just talk about the truck for a second. <laughs> Man, this thing yesterday off-road is such a beast. I know some of you guys probably drive these things off-road a lot, so you already know, but I mean, I, I just could not believe how easily this thing could take on some extremely bad road that the 911 would never be. No, I mean, we went on some rough roads on this thing before, but I think this one we pushed it even further uh -huh. because we've never went on the terrain like this time we did. And uh, man, it's performed beautifully. It had no problems, didn't stuck, didn't even try to get stuck. Like. Nope. It just went. Yeah, it was so, great. So we're going to wrap this up. KRT Life. KRT Life with the Y. Like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Hope this video, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, hopes this video, well, hopes. I hope this video helps you make an informed uh, consumer decision on the camping products that you may choose to or not choose to mm -hmm. purchase. Yep. But uh, we think that these are pretty decent purchases. But I still, I, I like both the Smitty Build and this one. So you don't have to get the eye camper, but I don't know. It's up to you. All right, y'all. We're out. Peace.